Hello everybody, this is Martha. My channel name is Seeking for Art and I'm here um, to do a small tutorial. Uh, we're going to try to do uh, a little um, mailer uh, to send ATCs, kind of like a little pocket and able to mail in an uh, envelope. Um, this is uh, size number 10 and it's 4 and 1 8 by 9.5 envelope. So, um, I was freezing in a swap for ATCs and I had to mail three ATCs. So, I was looking for a way to, uh, to mail the ATCs and I came up with an idea. So, I'm not sure if, uh, if it has done before. This is paper crafting. So, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, you know, a lot of us have thought about something uh, similar or done something similar. Um, it came out of my head so for right now I'm going to call it mine but uh, like I said I looked through uh, uh, YouTube and I couldn't really find anything like it so um, so we're gonna try to do it I mail it off and so I was trying not to record and I did an, I did one for myself um, try to remember how I did it so uh, so it's, it holds three ATCs and, and it folds and also it's a little pocket so uh, to put it in the envelope something to keep them secure if it's like I said the envelope the mail envelope and should be able to mail it off. So, and it also uh, for the recipient, it's a nice little little book, a little pocket book uh, to keep the ATCs. So, um, so what we're gonna need is uh, gonna need a, a cutting of. Uh, Oh my god, I'm going blank. <laughs> a cutting board <laughs> and a scoreboard. Uh, we're going to use uh, something to uh, round the corners, scissors, uh, to ink up the paper when you could, what you're going to decorate, glue, and for an extra something, I uh, this is a copy, uh, a printed copy of one of my jelly prints. I usually like to scan them and and reuse them. And uh, it's kind of thin paper too. Uh, you may use some stamps to enhance the paper. So uh, I cannot tell you what stamp is this. Uh, it was in my stash and I was looking for uh, some... Uh, script in in font you know some in I wasn't even sure what this one was all about but it turned out really nice so I'm using those two um, I'm not even sure if this is a salmon stay stamp I think it is I'm not sure I think that's where it came from and uh, so anyway, so for the paper that you're going to make the book, uh, it's going to be uh, the 65 pound paper. You usually get it like a Michael's or one of the box stores. It's not very thick. It's not uh, thick cardstock. This is 65 pounds. And I tried different types of cardstock. I tried that 100 pound and it was very hard to fold. And, so this one actually worked out better for me. So uh, so we're gonna get started. So we're gonna cut the paper first. Uh, I'm trying not to stay off camera. So we're gonna cut the the uh, 
on the eight and a half side we're gonna we're gonna need a, uh, to cut it to five and a half so we're gonna cut it five and a half and we're gonna have a uh, five and a half by eleven and from there we got a score And the first score line is going to be one and a half on that five and a half side. And we're going to turn it. And here it's going to be, we're going to score at three because the ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. So to give some room, we're going to score at three. And we're going to score again at three and one eight. And we're going to move to six and one eighth so we get three inches again. And then we're going to score at six and a quarter. Now we're going to move to nine and a quarter. So we give again the three inches. And then we're going to score at nine and three eighths. So. That's what the scoring we're going to do. Moving right along and it's going to stick everything off the table. Uh, from here, we're going to cut this square, the smaller square right here. And we're going to cut on the uh, second line here so that's one of the first cuts and from here we're gonna try to fold all the score lines. It's easier to fold before you cut the other pieces. From here, we're going to cut between the two score lines all the way to um, the next, the one line that's going across. And I'm trying to cut just a little bit before the line. And a little after the other line. Just a little smish. And do the same to the next one. Just sometimes it's easier to hold those two and try to cut. A little piece. So we're going to try again. From here we're going to glue just pieces so it's a pocket so you can create a pocket to put the ATCs and you need just a little smash of glue right on the line
trying to put try not to put too much glue because then you won't be able to uh, insert the ATCs. Put it on the side to, to let it dry. Um, there we go. I'm gonna try to stamp on top of the paper. I'm just trying to decide which one I'm gonna stamp. So I'm gonna use stays on. some brown or the actual name is timber brown So this is just to add some interest to the uh, to the paper. It's not necessary to do it. I'm doing it because I like the way it looks. I'm trying to create in your own your own papers. It's an extra step, but you can just use scrap paper if that's what you wish to do. This is just me trying to be different. So I'm just repeating the same stamps based on the four corners. You can hardly see it, but you see a little bit. So that's the designer paper. We just finish. Now back to uh, the cutting board. I'm going to just cut all the white around. This is also uh, eight and a half by eleven paper. So I'm just cutting around so it can be exact, the measurements can be exact. So, <clears throat> 
Der. The book is. So this part right here is four inches now after we folded that one and a half. So we're going to cut just a little bit less than four. I'm going to cut right at three and seven eighths. Just trying to be sure I'm straight. From there, I'm gonna cut since it was three inches, I'm gonna cut at two and seven eighths three times. So that's one. I'm always off camera, sorry about that. That's two. And three. And we're going to save this one for the little flat. Actually, let me cut it. I'm just afraid I'm going to cut it too short. Uh, so, best thing to do is just gonna close this way and I'm gonna make a mark so I know where to it's easier than trying to measure for me Actually, it's actually a one and a half, which is, but I'm going to cut just as much, a little bit less. Around the corners from the little flap. Um, let's see if I can do it because this thing is it's been difficult lately. Sorry if I'm getting quiet, I just try to pay attention. Um, sometimes I'm not any little distraction. I make a big boo boo. So from here I'm gonna just kinda uh, ink the edges of all the, of the paper. This is a very simple, I did not embellish. Um, since you're going to mail it, uh, you don't, really don't want to embellish a whole lot. Unless you want to pay the extra postage. need to test be sure that uh, the ATCs fit in the in the pockets you don't want to go to all that trouble and at the end <coughs> the ATCs don't fit so that's why 
two. And three. And that's the order we're going to glue. Sorry, like I said, I need to pay attention now if I'm going to mess up bad. I'm good for that. Alright, so we're going to let this dry. And now we're going to cut and decorate the pockets. than one and a half actually. And we're gonna repeat again. We're gonna need three Sorry, it's two and seven eighths. Again, we're gonna in the edges, and I'm using the stress oxide Grand Espresso. I guess I didn't mention it earlier. Just trying to be sure that and some interest and look a little vintage -y. So I don't think it matters the um The sequence but just try to keep it a little coherent okay. 
Every time I do a video, I just get, I get nervous. And when I get nervous, I make mistakes. So. And the reason I'm doing this, I'm trying to keep a record uh, of this little book. I mailed it off and then I'd say, well, I don't want to forget how to do it. Then I did it again, made a few mistakes. And uh, decided to do the video that way. Years from now, I remember how to do it. And um, before you, I forgot to mention, so if depending on what the kind of closure you want, uh, like if you want to put ribbon, you should do it before you glue this papers. If you want to do ribbon, or um, if you want to do magnets, I would advise you also to do the magnets before you put the paper in this paper so you can put the magnet on. But I was trying to simplify it. I think the first one I did, I put magnets in. Um, I committed to the magnet and, uh, and I had to do some workarounds to make it work because I already have put the paper. So this time I'm going to use Velcro. So I'm going to use the Velcro dots. And for that, I'm going to put them together. They're real sticky. And this, I guess, you commit. I'm going to say this, the middle. And there it is. You can actually probably add more glue. I mean, it's real sticky, but for some reason, there it goes. It's not coming off. So, like I said, try not. Um, you can do a small embellishment, maybe, uh, maybe a paper uh, button or something like that, or a small metal. Try not to uh, make it too bulky, because then they're gonna charge you extra. So, uh, should be able to put your ATCs. would not move or go anywhere they'd be safe in the mailer and when the recipient gets your little she can fold it and make it a little pocket book I really didn't know what to say is it a wallet is it a book is it a folio I caught it a wallet. So this is my ATC wallet. Thank you everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you like it, please uh, give me some thumbs up. Uh, if you have questions, be sure you give me some comments. Uh, thank you everybody.